quick update on Sawyer's bus. As you can see, I've taken out the windows, put in some steel sheet along the side. So we were just starting to do some prime in there. On this side, same thing. Steel sheet where the window went so was out. Uh, so we're starting to do a little prime in there. Let's take a look inside really quickly. Okay, the floor's in. Two inches of uh, insulation. There is in-floor heating inside there. I've got it running throughout the floor, the in-floor heating, and it comes up right there. Uh, that's where the stove is going to go. There's those windows that are missing there and along there. Uh, that's going to be a countertop. Obviously, the stove is going to go there. Fridge will go in there. This will be the kitchen area. Bathroom is back here. We're gonna have a shower. Enough room to stand up. That's where the toilet's gonna be. I'm gonna get uh, nature's whatever toilet uh, in the back. That will be her bedroom. Um, I've got the water tank under there. That's just garbage thrown on there for now. Uh, fresh water tank in there. Again, Sawyer's got her wall for her closet done up. She's looking at some tongue and groove. That's window glass that I took out of the other windows, and they will fit right in here to double glaze these windows. So we'll have more insulation. On the roof, I've got two by fours, and that's just enough height. I don't know if you can see me. For a six foot guy, no problem. Sawyer's already pushing six feet and she's only 14, so she might even grow taller. But that's it for now. I left these little sliding windows in here. Give it some air circulation. Uh, on this side, I've got the sliders up there. This was an extra large window. It'll stay there. That's where the couch will be. And then there's the front. It's a mess. The engine runs good and the transmission works. So that's all we're worried about get rid of all that wiring. So there's this.